So far in every join, the join condition has been an equals condition, but it doesn't have to be that way. And there doesn't have to be only one condition. In this example, we're looking for twins. So to pull twins out in a good set-based manner, we want to find the twins by only using the join conditions. So if we look at two copies of the table, person, and we'll refer to the second copy simply as twin, two twins would have the same mother ID and the same date of birth, but they would have different person IDs. So we can put all of that into the join condition, and here they have the same mother ID, same date of birth, but they have a not equals to. We can either state the not equals as an exclamation point equals or the more standard not equals. And this will find every twin. Looking at this graphically, you'll see that it shows each one of the join conditions and it actually shows that there's a not equals to in this join condition, which helps make that clear. And execute and we find both twins. Another time I've used this in production is in working with an inventory control system and searching for items where the date we're expecting to receive the item is greater than the date the item is required. This just shows you that the join conditions don't have to be equal, and you can do some really powerful set-based code by placing all of the requirements in the join condition.